right, well, we're live here on the first tee at Southern Pines Golf Club here at the final. Uh, we're here with Eric Stahl, who is undefeated coming into today. He has to lose and then lose again in the tiebreaker to Lou. Uh, so the first nine holes here. Eric, a lot of handicaps in play here. We've heard a lot of talk this week about how many strokes Lou's given. Um, how, how does that make you How does that make you feel going into this? Are you confident? Scared, you Scared. know. It makes me, I'm pretty frightened, uh, especially after seeing him play Tobacco Road yesterday and probably doing nearly as good as me. I'm frightened. I just hope I can keep it close and... You know, hopefully he hits it out of bounds a lot and, and I win the, win dirty like that. Yeah, you know? okay. All right, well, Lewis Euler here on the first tee. Uh, Lou, how do you feel coming into today? Uh, and uh, what do you, you think is going to happen here on these these very pivotal nine holes? Just ready to have fun, baby. Okay, okay. Right. yeah, that's cool. And we got to protect American freedom <laughs> and American liberties. Now watch this drive. <laughs> Never forget 9-11. Ah, what a way to start. Jeez. Stripe down the middle. That ball will roll. It's going to keep moving. Oh, it's still going. There it goes. We'll flip wedge in. <laughs> I noticed you're uh, filming. I know. Well, I was in the middle of interview, so this is, I'll, I'll change it for the rest of the way here, pal. <laughs> I noticed you're doing something wrong. Is that all you ever noticed? Do you ever see the nice things in people? Not really. Yeah. What do you call that, a cynic? This ball is going right up the fairway. It's tailing, it's tailing, it's begging to stay in play. Alright, good luck, Art. And I don't know if it's in play. I'm pretty sure. Blue one up after one hole. This is his second shot on two. He had a fortuitous break to not be in the waist area. Kyle Downs with a very useful iron shot. I just had an eight in the first hole and he had a net birdie. Would this one skip over to? I think it will. Yeah, easily. So that's two narrow narrowly avoiding the waste areas Eric still second very long 250 yard drive I thought he was standing about 220 from the green it looks like he's gonna go for it here cranked it good it's going a little right it's leaking it's leaking into the trees it hits a tree I have not seen it come out it's a big mistake here early Eric tries to get aggressive, and it costs him. We're here a lot for Stahl's third. Lou may be on the green, maybe a little bit over on his third. Gets it up through the leaves. On, it's going to work to the green, and it's going to carry the hole. He should be on. Important shot to get to the green here. He may have an advantage on Lou now. Lou's third actually uh, hit the green and rolled through in between these two trees. Got a little work to do here, folks. Just gonna move some impediments around. Good clean lie, though. He's just got these brushes and branches to deal with here before finding his way to the pin. He may just want to roll it onto yeah, the hill so and get lucky. What's that? They yeah. So yeah, I remember these train tracks were covered. Here's Lewis's fourth. Oh, oh, and it hits the log. And he's got even more work to do. I don't know if he's even going to get out of this. Oh, and he sends it high and deep. Oh and this ball is gone for his fifth. He has a stroke on Eric. Eric putting for birdie. This is my fifth. Yeah, I believe so. This is going towards the cup. It's just going to go right. That's a nice touch there, sir. All right, we're here live at the par three third. Uh, we're even on the score. Par three third, pin 170 reading. 
False front. Pin on the oh, left. He needs everything to be perfect. <laughs> he needs everything to be perfect. Beautiful scenic. This is up in the air and it's looking really good. Whoa, Just a little right of the pin. Like me. And it's down right, Fuck almost me. pin. God, that high. Was a huge slice swing. Wow. I, cr I closed my club face right at the end, I think. Woo! Let's see what Lou can do Let's to go. match that. See, there's no way he has a stroke on this. No. I, I should never say that, but. Lou tops it. Where'd it go? It just rolled down there. Okay, it just rolled down there, I suppose. Yeah, Lou finds himself about 100 yards out on this approach shot. He needs a big one here. He doesn't have a stroke. He's got to get it close, something where he can make a three and hope guard two putts. This one's up there. Long and four. He blades it over. Over everything. So, this is a driver's seat for Gark. Um, he might as well concede. Oh no. Lewis needs to get up and down for a triple here to tie me a net double. Oh, and that's very good. I'll give you that. Lou on the six. Looks pretty certain that he's gonna lose this hole and go three down. He's tilted. Definitely needs, you know, just a shot on the green to just boost his morale a little bit. This is probably the coolest hole on the trip, I have to say. It's coming right towards me. That won't help his spirits, but he's gotta come back. Look at this hole. I mean, this green is unbelievable. It's really hard to explain how amazing this green is. Par 3, 7, about 160 to the flag. Went in his face. What, do you have a 7 iron? Yeah. He's got a 7 iron. 3 up here. Just going to protect the lead. Uh, a little bit of the ground, but this thing's going to carry get pretty well. Get over there. And he's on. He's over near Kyle. Who's not playing in this competition yeah, because everybody's handicap system. He got hit the ball first, luckily. Yeah, it sounded like he got all turf. A little bit turf, yeah. Yeah. And you got it up there though. You let God do the work. <laughs> oh, this is pretty good. It's gotta go. 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 And it doesn't go. He knew it from the start, but we were trying to will it there. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Par three. Know, Eighth, we're even on strokes. Lou had a great out. <laughs> Salvage this hole. Oh. And it goes right. Oh, and now Gark can win a hole. And Gark, or Lewis, um, kept himself out of it too so if Gark misses this Lou still has to make a putt equal distance to the one he just tried just another moment where a high handicapper puts himself in trouble we haven't seen that all week oh great putt Lou stall for the hole with a par And he's got the hole. He's four up. Big moment here. He really needed this for health reasons. His back has been detrimental and he doesn't think he could go another nine after the 18. So he really needed to get a big lead here. Big fist pump back to the cart. Big moments here. He's feeling a little bit more comfortable and he's actually probably be gonna, gonna be a lot nicer of a person <laughs> uh, when we get to the cart. Dark Stall's drive here took Marin into the woods uh, just left here. We're on the eighth hole. It's a par 4 362. The layup here wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Um, 
blue one in the trap, so he's he's really just working here to be consistent and give himself some good looks at the green. And he has the comfortable level to do that here. Oh no! That's get over. Not gonna get over. He's penalized himself yeah, again that. with a terrible. You can't punch it from the sand shot. like this. It's crazy because we never saw this in the match against Kyle. Ninth hole, lose three down. I just got a nine in the last hole. That's got to get in the bunker. Ninth hole, par three. About 170 to the pin, 179 to the pin, I'm sorry. Still lost the last hole after a blow up. He's got a rebound, he's only three up here. And he chunks it left, it might be short of the trap. Left of the trap and short of the trap. That's exactly where I went two years ago, Doug. Lou really needs this bunker shot. And he blades it. So it'll be my advantage, I suppose. I'm on the fringe. So Lou's ball sailed the green here. I'm coming. Roll down this cart path here on 11 and into these bushes. I didn't see a come out of here. It should be, it should be stuck in here. Here it is. Right on my right foot. It's hittable, but you got to get it up. And then it's got to almost hit that hill there. What shot is this? Fourth. Fourth? Okay. No, I'm sorry, we're here on 10. 10? Oh, because I put my score in here. We're here on 10. Not bad. Just got to hit it out of there now. For a bogey. What are you putting for now? That'll be for double. Okay. So that's for his sixth, lose on his fifth, and he has a stroke. It's not bad, it's gonna come. Okay. So you have, so he has two strokes in hand? Funny for double two, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So he's got a stroke. Big putt here. And he's got it, so a two putt will tie the hole. Sinking this will win the hole for Lewis Euler. Don't put that in there. You want it in? See, I know Lou. Oh, don't act like you did that out of the kindness of your heart. I did, I honestly did. <laughs> he could win the hole in this putt. This could be a momentum swing. Lou, do you have any cash? Yeah. You hot... Oh, you do have cash? Yeah. Okay. Not much, but. You need a hot dog? too much come on back sit all right let's put the tie the hole here oh and he calls it good wow he's becoming a nice guy he should be careful he should be careful he's not a nice guy very often and then it usually comes do with his third and 11 he needs a double so this will be for par Two they can wait. They're the group behind. They can wait. I mean, this whole hurry He's going to lay in the ground when their balls are uh, 70 yards from the hole from us. But he wants it. It's a really good roll. Okay, this is to win the hole. Might have been better if I wasn't being rushed. I don't think so. Well, how long is the time allotted for finding a ball these days? I think three minutes. You, you... I think that's the old rule. No, that's the new rule. What's the new, what's the new rule then? I think it, I don't know, Stop three minutes. Him. Let him put. Please. Oh, what a putt. 
Pull 14, shooting 170 to the pin. Car still prize a seven iron. Yep. It's got a seven iron. I hit an eight iron over the green, but he didn't take note of that. So we'll see what happens here. He's four up. Yeah, it's backwards. He's in gangster mode. Gets all of it, pops it. It's gonna, it's gonna carry the green, I think, John. Yeah, he killed it. I told you. He's gonna go. Oh, he stayed on like a fucking cunt. Then how did I sail it? Cause my ball was higher. That was as hard as this way. It's a beaut. This is gonna go. It's gonna go. It's a little low. Can it run? It'll run and oh, pass the back wow. of the green. What'd you use? All right, we're back, folks. Lou's tee shot went long. He is looking to get close here. If he loses this hole, it's over. And Eric Stahl and his comrade regime will win again. This is looking really good, though. Get down. Get towards the pin. Hit the pin. It's going to go a little bit long. It's a really good shot there. He really didn't have any room to do anything else. He would have had to hit a higher in the air. It's a bit of a skill shot. Hi, my name is Kyle Downs. Oh my god, yeah, bing, bing. Oh, look at my putter peanut. Here's Eric Stahl's putt. He just wants to get it close here. You can almost assume Lou misses this putt because these greens are so hard. Lou's or Garth's putt was terrible. That's a really bad putt, buddy. I know. Okay. But he could make a really big putt here and get some momentum. Make Garth want to take another Vicodin. It's a really good roll. Come on. All right, just put it away. It's looking really good, just a little short. And we'll draw the hole and we'll keep moving on. Net par for Lou, birdie for Gark. He needs to miss and Lou needs to make here before this is over. It's gonna be short, right? That's not a promise, that's gonna run. And Lou can put it away here. A two putt with a Gark miss could give him the hole and hope. We're putting for par, basically. Oh. He has to beat me. He has to make this, basically. Whatever. It's gonna go right. You pull it, please. To survive, Gark needs to miss. Lou needs to make. Just a horrible showing up golf here today folks he's got it Jesus. and there it is got the trip in the bag you know it's it tough today there's no you were tough yeah i had a lot of greens i played good i had some had an eight and a nine two quadruple bogeys not proud of it. It was actually a quintuple bogey, um, but you know, unfortunately, I played pretty good on the other holes, and you know, Lou, Lou didn't have his, the stuff that he brought to Tobacco Road yesterday. Uh, that's what happened. Um, you know, now it's time to celebrate, I guess. Yeah, go do that, Lou. How did you feel about today? Yeah, I didn't play as good as I did at Tobacco Road. I feel like I wonder what would happen to match. Can you grab my club. Um, no, me versus Gark at Tobacco Road. I may have won that, but that's not, that's not saying much, you know. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, but that's just the way it goes. You know, I, I try to judge it by how I played, and I, I played maybe, you know, 75% of my whole no, game. it's less than that. No, it's better than that. I'm talking about, I, this is the second best I've played this whole trip. No, it's not. Yes, it is. How do you know more than me? How many good drives did you hit well, as, today? As some, another observer, I would say this is not your best. Not even close. This is your worst this trip. No, no maybe Pine Needles. Or what was the first round? 
That his first round was the worst. And then Pine Needles was also bad in the morning. I don't really recall, so maybe he's right. Yeah, it's almost like the person whose game it is knows. Yeah, it's almost. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, but you know, Eric played, I think, fantastic. Uh, he's been playing really well lately, so you know, you got to give it up to him. But I'd like to drive the ball a little bit better. Uh, iron play was decent. I think I putted pretty well. Um, fluffed a couple of wedges. I feel like. No, there's a couple things there. There, there, there was an argument uh, that occurred uh, around around hole 12 or 11th hole, uh, where I uh, we asked we asked Kyle if there there was a stroke given on that hole, and uh, Kyle. Kyle has told Lou that um, he I, got a stroke. I affirmed that there was a stroke. And uh, so why wouldn't there be? And we looked later on the 12th hole, and he didn't get a stroke. And I ended up tying that hole. And it looked like there was going to be a two-shot swing. I was going to go from four up to two down because I just hit it out of bounds. I ended up tying that hole as well. Um, so Lou said he would have played the hole differently if he knew that he got a stroke, which you know I thought was bullshit and. Kyle, Kyle thought it was bullshit because Kyle was defending himself. He was the one who gave him the wrong information. Correct. And uh, yeah, I just think that that's you know you want to try to get it into the hole as soon as possible, no matter no matter what is in your mind. But now before we get to Lou on this, I want to say uh, I want to say yeah, uh, I made a mistake. I'm not defending myself, but what I will defend is that Lou says that his putt he would have putted a little bit more firm. You ended up two putting that anyway. Okay, this is too right. It was about a 20 foot putt. I don't. 15. 15 foot putt. He needed to get up and down from a, a Donald Ross green, 60, no, not 60, 60 feet from the green, because he had a fried egg on his drive and then he popped it out. And he would have had to get up and down on Donald Ross green for par um, from, from 60 feet out. So I don't think anything would have been different. Think you know. Oh. <laughs> There's one big yawn. Well timed. Anything, uh, anything to add here, Lewis? Um, and then we'll actually get to. How if you, you uh, if you call the bank, right, or you look online in your bank statements, and the bank says you have thirty dollars in your checking account, and you go up and you spend twenty five dollars, and then the next day they're like, oh no, actually you had twenty dollars in there. You just overdrafted. You're not only negative five dollars, but you are going to have to pay a $25 overdraft fee. I think you would think that that's unfair. Because if you knew that you only had $20 in there, you would not have taken out $25. Uh, if the incorrect information is given, and then um, that forces a person to play one way versus the other, um, what do you think about? I think that's unfair. Now, what do, you, what do you think about the integrity of the competition? Uh... That's a very about the I. There's not much integrity in this <laughs> competition because um, we're playing um, not by USGA rules, um, and we kind of play hard and fast with the rules just to whatever is you know uh, whatever is agreed upon in, in the group. Um, so there's not much integrity to the uh, to the game. The thing about the uh, the incident in question is either way if you want to say that um, the you can go back and you can reverse uh, what strokes are given and you can retroactively say that the hole was tied that's one way of looking at it if you say that no we should uh, keep the hole as it was scored when it's you know I think we're halfway through the next hole um, I don't know if that's relevant yeah. to anybody if it's if you catch it right after the hole ends, maybe that's one thing. Maybe it changes if you catch it three holes later. I don't know if there's a cutoff for when we need to catch the mistake. Um, that's somewhat irrelevant because Eric won with like four or three holes left to go. So I don't think that I would have had to win every hole down the stretch for it to even matter. 